Hello everyone. A few months ago I uh, posted a video about this uh, step-down converter and um, showed how nice it was to use this for a uh, prototype board. And um, of course it can be used for charging batteries too and would be n nice because it has six positions that you could set different battery voltages and uh, current limits. And uh, that's pretty nice for only $14 or something like that. But I was looking for something a little bit smaller that I could uh, use on various projects like charging the lawnmower battery and uh, running some small devices and found this this other module here at, uh, at IC Station. And uh, this one's a little bit smaller and doesn't store um, different positions for more than one uh, uh, one setting you know and <laughs> believe it or not this is only seven dollars and some change and I think it was free shipping too from uh, IC station now this one um, works out pretty nice it's uh, it's inexpensive enough that you can you could probably uh, use several of them and have it all set up and ready with the proper plugs and uh, uh, ready to go and charge whatever you need to charge. Um, it also, you know, this thing will also run as a as a power supply the same way as as the other one with current limiting. So I'm going to set this camera up in a way that I can use two hands and we'll take a look at how this thing operates and I'll do the best I can to uh, explain what the little uh, LEDs are doing on here and uh, we'll get on with a couple of tests. Hold on. Okay, so here's uh, what we have. As you would expect, there's a set of inputs. And uh, this is a receptacle that you just slide the wires in and then through the top here with a screwdriver you tighten up on the wires. Same thing for over here, which is an output. So, needless to say, you're choosing your own type of connectors. I happen to use connectors that are used in the RC model airplane um, hobby. Dean's connectors because I've, I've got so many different things set up with these connectors already that I can switch um, alligator clips or other kind of um, uh, charging harnesses right to, to the output of this. Okay, and then on this side, you've got a couple of probably 20 turn trim pots. And the one, the one here on the left is for adjusting the voltage, and the one here on the right is for adjusting the current limit. Uh, there's some LEDs on the circuit and I'm going to explain what they're going to do for you in just a minute. So, Okay, so what I have here is a uh, uh, laptop uh, power supply and I have it set on 24 volts. Uh, these uh, circuits will run on uh, uh, 5 to 30 volt range and output I think it is 0.6 or 8 volts to 30 or 29 something like that. I'm going to go over the specs a little bit later and uh, uh, certainly post this, that information under the video. So I'm going to hook up now to this power supply. I've got here also a 12 volt battery and this happens to be uh, the uh, alum battery that I converted but because of its impedance it'll show us readings a little bit quicker and we'll give that a try so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to adjust this readout to the voltage that I want to charge the battery to 13, 14, 
seven, if we can see that. So that would be normal for a 12 volt battery. Not for the Allen, but I'm setting this up that way. Okay, so now the um, charge voltage is set at 14.7, and we need to set our uh, current limiting because we don't want to overcharge. Uh, all right, so trying to get this in a position where my hand doesn't get in the way. But you can see now if I turn that current screw, the uh, amperage on the bottom goes up. Now I don't particularly like to use a dead short. I uh, sometimes use uh, a resistor that needs a little fitting there. And you see I get the same reading. So that's a little safer for some reasons. And I can get into that a little bit later. But I'm going to turn this now up to, to uh, 350 milliamps or 0.35. It's close enough. Now you see with this with this shorted out, the the current limiting is working on the device and it's taking the voltage down to uh, uh, 0.3 volts. So as soon as I unplug that, the current will go off and I'm back to 4.7, and I'm ready to plug the battery in. Okay, so you can see that the battery voltage is sitting at. 11.7 and I know you'll say that's low for a lead acid but uh, remember this is an alum battery so it settles in a little bit lower so I'm going to plug in okay immediately you can see that we're starting to take a charge Let's do this so it's not as confusing. Okay, so it's going up. Over here you can see that we're charging at 0.36 volts, I mean 0.36 amps or 360 milliamps. And you see our battery voltage is at 12.8 okay so what we can see down here below is a blue light that's on and that means that it's charging and uh, over here this light is on red which means that we haven't reached our 14.7 volts when we reach 14.7 volts, this bulb, this um, red LED here is going to go off. Okay, so it's going to tell you then that you've reached your your voltage, and you can still be charging. I'll explain that in a little bit. This says we're charging. Now, what I need to do is skip these preliminaries and not wait for this to charge up. And I'm going to uh, adjust the, the voltage on this... Um, step down uh, uh, module to be close to being set to the point where it shows that it's charged and then we can look at what these lights are doing you'll get a, a much better uh, idea of how this this thing operates so hold on a minute okay I think I have a pretty good way to explain what's going on with these uh, diodes as the uh, battery charges so here's what I've done I've I forgot about charging the battery up to 14.7 volts and uh, just set it to stop at 12 volts so uh, you can see that the battery is is uh, charged now to 12 volts uh, well to prove that the big meter here uh, is hooked up to the battery and it says 12.028 and it's just fluctuating a little bit I imagine if it settled down and went uh, much farther down that 
the uh, charger would probably kick on again and you know bring it back up to about this point um, so once again we're uh, saying zero on the current reading and our little red light is on down here that says we're charged blue light is off that's next to it and uh, the diode up here naturally says that we've reached our charge voltage and uh, it turned off so okay so here once again we can see that the uh, voltage of the battery is uh, 12.035 and uh, on the little module we're set at 12 uh, uh, 12 volts for the charge voltage and our light emitting diode says we're charged now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bump the voltage up a little bit and we'll watch and see what happens if I can find the slot okay now I'm just barely touching it you see that now I'm charging at 30 and 40 milliamps I'm going up a little more now notice all of a sudden the blue light down on the bottom right of the uh, module came on so now that says that uh, we're drawing some current and charging the battery I'm going to go up higher with the charge voltage now you can see the on the well probably on both the meter and the module that the uh, uh, voltage of the battery is going up I'm going to continue to add current now I think I had this set at 350 milliamps so once we reach that we should get a, another change on the, on the module now, if you can if you can see it, the little red light emitting diode over here on the circuit board has come on. And that tells us now that we have the voltage set higher than what the battery can accept as the charge. So as I turn this voltage up, that little red light will get brighter. and the current naturally will still stay at that 3, 4, 3, 5 mark that we we have set. So now I really don't know what I have the voltage set at, but uh, the current you can always change. You can turn the current down like I'm doing right now. You can see it going down. So now actually I'm saying I want to charge it at 200 milliamps. Okay. So once again now, I'm going to turn the voltage back down and we'll reach a point where the current starts dropping because the module thinks the battery is charged. I'm just having a heck of a time with that little screw. Okay, so now I'm going down and let's watch, see the current's dropping, dropping, dropping. and it's down to only 30 milliamps so the thing has already said that it's gone into like a very trickle charge and battery is, is charged so now this says 12.3 and battery is 12.3 I don't know if, if that's clear to everybody or not but gives you some idea that uh, how the uh, current limiting uh, works and how it keeps the voltage dropped uh, to uh, continue the charge rate at the current uh, that you have set okay let's move on to something else but I'll tell you something this battery is is charged very nicely at this point I mean it's it's just cool as the cucumbers out in my garden. 
um, so far, I mean, I'm liking this. I'm going to try something else here, and uh, we'll take a look at that. Okay, about 10 minutes has passed since uh, I came back on here with the, uh, the camera. And um, I think that we're done charging. This is uh, at 12.574. Um, it says it's going up one and two, but it also went down a couple. Now the battery's disconnected. And we have a voltage reading on the uh, charger of a 12.58, basically. So it charged within one one hundredth of a volt of our setting. Not bad. That's a, that's a nice surprise. I wanted to make a point uh, about a few things here uh, on the specifications, the, the more important things, and uh, I'll post the rest of it in the uh, video descript description. But uh, you notice that this is a input voltage of five to thirty volts and an output of eight point eight to twenty nine. Uh, notice the note on the uh, amperage it says 5 amps over 3 amps amps to enhance heat dissipation I think they're saying that if you're using more than 3 amps you're going to have to run some sort of a heat sink or cooling fan and uh, keep in mind about that 0.8 volts I have something to show you here pretty soon um, frequency voltage regulations all and blah 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 You'll have to look at that uh, in the description. Current range 0 to 5 amps, same stuff, operating current. Yeah, here's something interesting too. This, this device only uses 15 milliamps. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go on to something about the, the current. There is an anomaly about, about this device. And I'm going to show you what it is right now. Uh, let me hook up a, uh, a uh, short on the uh, output. Okay, now look here. Our uh, current has gone all the way to uh, six over six amps, and I don't want to leave that on, so I got to disconnect that. So something funny happens here when you short this out down at the 0.8 or very bottom of the voltage range. Now, 6 amps at 0.8 volts is, I don't know, something pretty low in, in wattage. So uh, you don't even get a spark when you, when you short that out. You'd think you get a big whapping spark and nothing happens really. So the only thing I'm saying to, to be careful about is charging lithium, lithium ion batteries. You gotta be real careful and delicate about your settings and don't short this output when you're way down at this 0.8 uh, voltage. You can set this current without a direct short. Use a, like a one ohm resistor or even 10 and you probably be able to make your setting and get close on a battery you can make your setting while you're charging you know so you'll get used to that okay so um, you know there's a lot of things you can do with this little uh, module I had a lot of fun with it and I actually plan on getting a couple more and using them for different things uh, remember you can use it to charge batteries or you can use it as a regulated power supply just like you do when you pay a lot of money for you know we're just talking about something here it's fun to play with and you can protect your projects with it um, let me show you a little project that I, I just did uh, my camera was away for repairs and we we're going on seven weeks so I was going to try to use this old one and when I figured out the, res the resolution was only about 360 I just couldn't use it uh, so I waited to get uh, this Panasonic uh, TM700 back but in the meantime I took a an old battery pack that didn't work anymore and I cut the batteries out of it and I put my little um, connector on the back of the pack and now 
there and I'm going to plug it in I have the uh, battery set on I mean the uh, module set on uh, 8.4 uh, volts and I don't know what the current set on I think I put it all the way up to 1 amp but anyhow so there you have the um, module working as a little power supply with this adapter and I think I can turn the camera on and it probably will start you heard the ding and there you go so you know it's for seven dollars uh, you know it's really worthwhile uh, you probably have a, an old computer uh, power pack for a laptop laying around or wall warts, anything, you know, just as long as the voltage is up high enough to uh, get the job done for you. So, I um, hope you enjoyed this, and I, I recommend the uh, module, and pick a couple up and see what you can do with them, and we'll have some fun talking about it together. Take care now, everybody. We'll see you next time.